So in the meantime, let's shift gears here and turn to our favorite food lover, Dave Andelman. Dave, you're going to talk today about some of the most famous restaurants in Boston, and you're going to tell us, are they worth the hype? You know, it's a hard thing when a restaurant has a lot of buzz. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, the higher the expectation of the meal, the bigger a disappointment it can be. Yeah, I've been watching this cycle now for a long time. Essentially, it's the same PR people, writers, bloggers, they go in there, oh my God, it's the Lord's dining room. So I like to wait a few weeks, let them work out the kinks, and then go in there and really see what's up. All right, let's go to one really famous Italian restaurant. Not brand new, but it's very well known. It's called Reno's. It's in East Boston. People know it and love it for, for years. And all of a sudden, it became like this nationwide phenomenon that now everyone wants to go to Reno's. So is it worth the hype? Danny, this breaks my heart because years ago on Phantom Gourmet, I used to go to Reno's all the time. It's this little neighborhood in East Boston. Nobody could even find it. The right. food was amazing, right? Mm -hmm. We feature on Phantom Gourmet. Every national show copies it, <laughs> and now I can't get in anymore. <laughs> It is the awful. of your own success. Yeah, but at least they built a bar across the street so you can wait. This is really just a simple neighborhood spot. The food is absolutely amazing. I mean, handmade with classic you know, tomato sauces and fresh pastas. I recommend the pasta bolognese, mm. a huge portion of fresh al dente pasta topped with slow-simmered meat sauce. You pair that with a glass of red wine. 100% and this is worth the hype. All right, so that one is worth the hype. Let's go to another very well-known Italian restaurant in Boston in the North End. Everyone from all over the world, they go to the North End, and apparently they all line up at this one restaurant on Hanover Street called Giacomo's. Is it worth the hype? Is it worth the long line? Dan, I have spent uh, nights lying in bed, looking up at my ceiling, saying, why does everybody line up at Giacomo's? I, I don't, I don't, I want to go to the tourists, like the three students, whack them on the head and say, what are you doing? I don't understand. They stand not, no. out there in the cold. There's a hundred places to eat in the North. I'm not saying Giacomo's isn't good. Yeah, it's good. The food is good. Okay. It is priced very, very, very reasonably. Yes. I think it's $20 or less. But eh, the food isn't that great, and it's crowded. I don't even think you can get dessert and coffee at Giacomo's. So I say... Not worth the hype. We'll give them the buzzer on that, not worth the hype. All right, now let's go to a totally different kind of place. A couple of years ago, the New York Times writes an article about the best new restaurants in America. Yeah. The number one best new restaurant in America, according to the New York Times at that point, mm -hmm. was a place called Oya, a small kind of Asian right. fusion sushi restaurant in Boston. Right. Is that worth the hype? Because I know crazy. you were just there. I, you can't even, you can't find it. I don't, they don't have a sign. Yeah. And you walk in, there's only about 40 seats, very minimalist Japanese decor. Mm -hmm. Everything here, every piece of food is beautiful. It is bursting with flavor, unbelievably gourmet. And then, like, they're playing Jay-Z music in the background. Cool. You have three sushi chefs standing there looking at you. They look like the, the soldiers at Buckingham Palace. They're standing <laughs> at attention until you start ordering. Now, Danny, this is a one percenter restaurant. I mean, it is not inexpensive. Yeah. But if you've got the dough, if you're a guy that really needs to impress a woman, you cannot do any better than, oh, yeah, worth the hype. Worth the hype. I, I think it's in my top ten meals I ever it's had, amazing. so it's good. All right, now, last one. This is one of the fastest-growing restaurant chains in America. Very successful. Big cult following. Mm -hmm. Chipotle. All right, is Chipotle worth the hype? It's weird because usually food lovers are like prejudiced against chains, right? Ah, that's a chain. <laughs> Somehow Chipotle, they love it. People love Chipotle. I'm not saying it's not good. Mm -hmm. They found it in Denver. They got 1,400 restaurants, employ a lot of people. Uh, known for their burritos with chicken, steak. You can get guacamole for an extra two bucks. I just don't understand when you have places like Anna's and Boloco, the hype, I say Chipotle, not worth it. So the national hype, not worth it. Go with the local guys. Yeah. In this case, Dave Andelman, the ultimate hype man, ladies and gentlemen. I'm